All right, what is going on, guys? Evan Aldo here. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the content. Wanted to show you what I've been doing, the latest kind of trades I've been doing. Um, so basically, yesterday morning, took a scalp pick, went long, did pretty well, hit a take profit, did well, then got stopped adding profit. Um, we had a nice chat last night um, in the VIP chat channel. That's another thing for exclusive members. I do a few of those um, every week. Try to do at least one a week with you guys. And scalp long today, so kind of the same thing on Bitcoin. So did pretty well and then got stopped out after first take profit. So um, it happens, you know, it's always good to lock in those profits, you know, take out. I like to take out, you know, 50% on the first take profit, especially for scalp trades and leave a little bit of, you know, house money chips on the table, stop loss to entry points. So you could potentially have some more upside. So ultimately, that's what I've been doing lately. Let's get into the analysis right now. And by the way, if you guys want to join the Discord, a link in the description below. Um, it's me and other three other analysts. We do incredible in there. I mean, we're not right all. <coughs> Excuse me. Nobody's going to be right 100% of the time, but we provide a lot of really good content in there for you guys. So, yeah. Let's um look at ultimately Bitcoin right now. You know, ultimately, you know, what could happen right here? So, when I look at, you know, obviously the high time frames, you know, on the monthly... A lot of people I'm talking about, you know, are we going to potentially close, have a green September? Um, you do have the trigger wave to the downside in the monthly. This looks very bad. If we look at, I've been looking more at the DBSI um, a little bit. We got a 16 bear on the monthly, just not good by any means. You know, went to 10, now 16. Can we close this green? I mean, you'd probably have to close above 25.4 or 25.5, not very far away from where we are right now. Got four days left, so I don't know if you will, and I think you might not. And when we look at kind of, you know, when we look at like the three day, if I want to go on, let's just go on the more marked up chart, the two day and the three day here. I mean, you got the red X um, right here. If we look at what typically in Market Cipher A, what it gives us on the red X, that was a decent drop down. If it's like that, we're not closing a green month by any means. And I mean, this one was a, a kind of a signal to local bottom there, but then you came down farther. And if you look at how far that was, I mean, that still would potentially bring you down to 25.3. So if we go down this chart a little bit, I mean, I, I do kind of, I don't hate what I'm seeing on the daily here. Um, potentially a trigger wave could form. I don't think it means too much yet. Um, and then when I look at the 12 hour, kind of the same thing as a potential bounce higher. I would say daily to 12 hour, kind of a bit more of the bear, bullish case, excuse me. And then when I look at the eight hour here, this is what's interesting now. This is a bullish div, um, I believe, printing on the eight hour, which is a decent sign. And this could bring us higher. Now you look at these EMAs all turning you know, gray right here, so a little bit conflicting. Now we'll see where that brings us up to. Um, we'll definitely see if we get a break above this volume area low. Right there, 20. 6.3, which is a big area too with the spiral line. So we're going to see if that's possible. We also have, this is not a true bullish div, but you kind of have, you know, a wave coming up uh, on the three hour. And then, you know, ultimately money flow is is coming up right here on, on the two hour. And then you potentially have some type of you know, a little trigger wave kind of thing here. So potentially we could come up a little bit in the short term. I mean, you do have some type of W, um, W type pattern. And, you know, potentially if you were to go higher here, you know, 26.5 could be um, the next general area that we could see if we jump up higher. So that's going to be kind of what we'll see here. <clears throat> Excuse me, whether or not that does happen, break up from this kind of formation, your technical target is going to be at this spiral line, 26.3 or 26.4, closer to there. So ultimately that's that. And then eh, some money flow coming up in your 16. And then on, you do have kind of a bear div on your six minute kind of for the short term. Eh, a little bit conflicting. If I had to guess right now, I'd say there's a good shot of pumping up a little bit more up to probably this spider line again. But after that, I'm not too sure. I think you could, I think you ultimately will kind of roll over, fall down here. And, you know, I look at this weekly, you know, view ups coming up here. Um, I kind of think it wants to do more like this and come deeper and, and form like a deeper kind of anchor wave thing. And these RSIs, ultimately, I think they're going to kind of do something like that into the next you know, couple months. Um, potentially November could be a big place where I'm looking at where 
we could hit a potential bottom at maybe the low 20s, hit our 300 weekly moving average for probably the start of a really good place to get into altcoins, um, where where altcoins may you know finally stop bleeding um, against Bitcoin. It could be November, end of this year, early next year is what it kind of looks like, in my opinion, for that to potentially happen. Now, how could you kind of trade this a little bit? Well, yeah, as of right now, I mean, I would be maybe slightly, if I had to do something slightly inclined to go with kind of the money flow and maybe try to go long up to here. But as of right now, not in any trade currently on, on Bitcoin. And if we want to look at Ethereum, kind of the same thing, you know, monthly red dot here, you know, this, I would say this is kind of a trigger wave. I mean, on the Monthly, we already confirmed kind of a trigger wave to the downside does not look good by any means. And I think that if we look at Ethereum, your 300 weekly moving average here, let's get that up, is right around 12K or 1200, excuse me, which I think could be a really, really good place to start accumulating this potentially if we do hit this sometime in October, sometime in November, a really good place. And look at that monthly, there's EMAs turning all gray. Not a good look by any means there on that that week the weekly EMAs. Um, did I say monthly? I think I I'm not sure. Weekly EMAs. <clears throat> if we do look at you know ETH a little bit more on some of these lower time frames, you do have the red dot here. Money flow looks like it wants to come deeper. ETH has generally bled against Bitcoin um, recently, and I think it may continue to do so. Um, you do have a kind of double bottom, you know, that W pattern. If we do break up, and I know some people are talking about the possibility of breaking upward here. If we do break upward, oh man, potentially back up to that area, 1744, but you do have some traffic stops. You got that spiral line and stuff, you know, in between 1645. If we do come up, I mean, the daily does look pretty good there. That is a, a bull div, I believe. No, actually not quite, but still looks good with the money flow there. So we got to wait and see what happens here. The 12 hour, not bad, obviously. Basic strategy would tell you that we could potentially come up more here. And you are, are also kind of forming a reverse head and shoulder type thing. If you do break upward from here, your technical target would be somewhere around 1623 potentially. Uh, money flow coming up on the two hour right there. So um, I do think there's a decent shot of coming up higher. Right? I do think there's a decent shot of potentially coming up higher here. We got to wait and see what happens though. If I was to probably do a trade on Bitcoin or Ethereum, probably would try to go long on, on Bitcoin, um, mainly instead of Ethereum, mainly because Ethereum just generally is keeps bleeding against you know Bitcoin in this environment, not in the very short term, but if you look at the macro here, it just keeps coming down. And I think we're eventually going to come down another, you know, I don't know, five or at least 10% here, or at least 10% here probably in the next few months. And then I mean, if we lose this area, you could end up at 0.04 or 0.03 and bleed a lot more. Now, that's going to be a, a nightmare for a lot of altcoins. Um, that's kind of what I think potentially could happen here. If we look at, you know, let's just look at maybe one of the popular altcoins right now, Cardano, you know, just not showing too much strength. I mean, you do have the weekly kind of, is this a bullish div? Yeah. Do you have a weekly bullish div, but that money flow isn't really the way I want to see it. And if you look at the two week here, eh, that money flow is still deep. I want to see it starting to curve back up. So I don't know. I mean, you can, you definitely could bounce from here, but you got a yellow X on the three day. I mean, it seems like you're going to come down lower to, you know, 14 cents, 15 cents, maybe even 12 cents or something, potentially come down these lower areas. And um, I would say this looks weaker than, I mean, your RSI are curving down in the 12 hour. I would say it definitely looks weaker than Bitcoin um, at the at the moment right now. Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that for now. And then Bitcoin dominance, what we want to look at here is the thing too with Bitcoin dominance is if you look at this area that we've kind of, you know, bounced around and played ping pong in for, uh, you know, a while since, you know, May of 21, essentially, you know, if you break upward, that's a 60% technical target. I don't know if you're going to get that high. I probably would start accumulating all coins earlier in that. I think that this point, you know, 54%, if we get there, that's the place to start looking into getting into alts. When can we get there? I think towards the end of the year. I think November is going to kind of be the place. Um, I know I've said for a while, you know, just a few months for a few more months for all, just a few more months for all, just a few more weeks for alts or whatever. You know, you just got to keep watching the charts. You just got to keep playing it by year to, um, you know, figure out when when the right time to obviously get in is. 
And um, by the way, guys, if you want to make some of these trades, if you're an experienced trader, check out the links down below. Um, Fairdesk, we always do a promo every week, the $100 trading bonus to one person who deposits any amount and does one futures trade. Max C, we're doing a similar bonus, but you need to deposit at least $100. You can win $200. That ends on the 30th, so check that out. Links down below. Also, Femex is great as well. We're working on getting a trading competition there pretty soon. Prime XBT, really good if you want to do some Forex or traditional markets. Um, we do have KMAC in the Discord with a lot of really good Forex alpha um, if you guys are interested. So check out those links down below. So yeah, that's that. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys right now is traditional markets. And this is interesting because the S&P 500 is definitely getting hit hard here. And then on DBSI, you got a 15 on the bear on the two week. I mean, not a good look right there. The monthly is about to kind of print. I believe that would be almost a bear div trigger wave to the downside here. So, you know, I, I 17 on the weekly bear money flow coming down. Your S&P 500 daily crossover does not look good. And I think that either this tells us Bitcoin's decoupling from this, um, either Bitcoin's decoupling from this, or Bitcoin's just a more delayed effect of what, what has happened with this. And Bitcoin will um, will come down pretty soon to, to follow this. Now, short term, you know, when you come down, usually you have a really red day. Dow was down almost 400 points. You, you may jump up a little bit. You may jump up a little bit, especially with some of these kind of bullish divs here. And the three hour and the four hour too, I mean, you absolutely could jump up a bit here. Um, and I think you probably will, especially if Bitcoin does fall, we get a little bit of a jump up, but then we'll see what happens um, kind of after that wrong chart here. But um, right around, you know, there 20, 26, four, right around that area, I, I could see as being pretty probable right now. So. Anyway, guys, that's all I got right now. Smash the like button. Hope you got something out of the video. Subscribe to the channel and check out the links down below. Goodbye.